And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And tonight we've got the semi final of the Champions League coming up for you. It is AIK up against Aston Villa. Thank you, Derek. There's no such thing as a small semi final. Every semi final and every cup competition carries pressure. Pressure affects both sets of players. The visitors come in here as big favourites. The home team's got nothing to lose. Have a go. Big carrot beyond the final. Real chance. Oh, what's an opportunity. It's been squandered. Well, you dream of 1v1s as players. He's had one and he's squandered it big time. Really getting stuck in. And options in the centre. He's in with a chance. And a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final. How important could that prove to be? Well, here it is again, and it starts with the ball over the top, perfectly weighted, and once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Well, he's every right to be angry. The players are not executing his game plan today. One nil then. Barkley, Watkins, oh nice ball over the top to chase, well it could be on for him here, wonderful chance, in it goes to square the game, what a contest this is turning out to be. Well, here's the replay, and they do say a keeper should never be beaten in his near post. And he's made that error, and he's been punished. Big mistake for me. So, a level contest. 1-1. Sebastian Larsson, Michel, Rogic, and a creative look about this, and he might be through here, deary me, a golden chance missed, it might come back to haunt him. Well, you learn the script time and time again, and he's now just gone and fluffed his lines. Read it magnificently and intercepted. I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. Well, that was the chance to take the lead and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Watkins, it's opening up for them. And with your opponents bearing down on you, no wonder you want to just get rid of the ball. Can he play it in? Barkley. Barkley! And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. And played short. Plays it back. 
And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Well, another corner following on from the last one. And taken short. Could be. And now it is there for him. And in at the second time of asking. But the goalkeeper badly at fault. Well, here's the replay. The keeper's made a save, but it's not good enough. It's back into play. But he was first to react, and it's in the back of the net. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? So there we have it, 2-1. McGinn. Oh, that's a super ball over the top. He just needs to remain icy cool. Well, the post got in the way. And he takes it on. Excellent block. Well, they're not standing off their opponents in the slightest. Well, Derek is really, really unlucky there. He thought he'd scored. Will he get another chance? And a strong tackle. Wonderful tackle. It is to be a throw-in. Grealish Traore good looking move this a chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner they favoured a short one here and a fine cross but they had a decent reading of that ball in chance but it can't get all the way through well it's a constant struggle for them to get out of their own half so the whistle then we're at the halfway stage in this match he's been the staff Sports. It's in the
And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. This is Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. I'll tell you what, Lee, this ought to be special. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. Tanase. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And he read it well. Andreas Lienhardt. Dario Tadic. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. An attack full of promise. Magnificent defending. Sasha Horvat. Dario Tadic. And that's going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Rep. Tadic. Oh, lovely ball. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. Looks promising, this. Now, will the cross work out for them? Well, the cross was acceptable, but no one there to thump at home. That is how to apply the pressure. Could play it in. Might jump in front. Suffice it to say, his edge is blunt. Poor effort. Well, he got a lot right there, but he got one thing wrong, and that was the finish. Zasha Horvat. Dangerous looking attack. Teammate available. Promising sequence. Well, possibilities in the center. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. At times, they make passing look easy. Andreas Lienhardt. Sasha Horvat. Just cutting off the supply. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Cross fired over. The end product just wasn't there. Dario Tadic. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Well, they've given him too much space. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Very much a run of the mill as saves go. When you look at those stats, Derek, it tells a story all of its own. They haven't created enough chances. Their forwards have been off the game as well. They haven't really utilised the wide areas for me, but they should go on and win the game, to be honest. Raiko Rep. And so it is, the first half story has been written.